When Star Wars The Last Jedi hits theaters on December 15th, it's guaranteed to be one of the biggest box office hits of the year, if not all time. So why are some theaters flat out refusing to screen the movie at all? According to a report by the Wall Street Journal, Disney is imposing harsh financial requirements on the theaters they'll partner with to screen The Last Jedi, terms that many theater owners are calling the most onerous they have ever seen. Typically, movie studios take 55-60% to 60 of ticket sales for a first-run film, with that percentage dropping the longer the movie is out. However, as one film insider told the Wall Street Journal, Disney is currently in the most powerful position any studio has ever been in, thanks to the fact that the last film in the series, 2015 Star Wars The Force Awakens, is by far the biggest domestic box office hit in history. As a result, Disney is asking for an unprecedented 65% of the box office take from all participating theaters. Needless to say, the studio has significantly altered the usual deal. I have altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. This deal's getting worse all the time. But wait, the deal does get worse. Any theater that wants to show The Last Jedi also has to agree to screen it for a full four weeks at a minimum in their biggest auditorium. Plus, Disney is also imposing an uncommon penalty for violating these terms. Should Disney deem any theater to be in violation of the agreement, the agreement says that Disney is then allowed to take an additional 5% of ticket sales from the theater, meaning that for four weeks, 70% of all money earned for The Last Jedi in a theater would go straight to Disney. Violations, according to Disney, would include pulling even one screening from a theater's schedule or using marketing materials for the movie before Disney gives the go-ahead. While these terms still are harsh for massive chains like AMC or Cinemark, the conditions really hurt smaller theaters serving small populations, and some independent theater operators are considering fighting back by boycotting The Last Jedi entirely. One cinema owner who operates a single-screen theater noted that in his small town, everyone who wanted to see The Last Jedi would see it in the first two weeks, leaving the owner stuck playing the movie for the last two weeks to what would eventually be an empty room. For this trouble, the theater would keep only 35% of the increasingly meager profits from it all, or 30% if Disney decides they broke a rule. Considering the record-breaking success of The Force Awakens, it's easy to see why Disney would want more money. But as crazy as it sounds, it might actually make more financial sense for some theaters not to screen The Last Jedi at all, rather than give in to Disney's demands. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.